So in the rubbish, I found this window vacuum cleaning device, which I have absolutely no use for. So for a bit of fun, in this video, I'm going to try and use the parts from that to make a sawdust blower to blow the sawdust and other rubbish off the workbench, which can come in handy. So I've made a prototype to see if it works. And as you can see, it works pretty well, so I've drawn it out. Let's start the project. As you can see, I'm going to use um, plywood. What I'm drawing here are just reference points to help stick the whole thing together, which will be removed at the end. Time to saw it out. No better tool for this than a homemade bandsaw. This is what will hold the whole project together, which I will put through all of the reference points. Now I'm measuring up so that I can neatly fit in the fan, the PCB, the battery and the on and off switch. Here I've had to create some extra space for the battery. Two cables here are on the wrong side, so we're going to cut them off and solder them back on the other side. As you can see, I need a bit more room to fit in the PCB. Now it's time to saw the whole thing through the middle so I can make the rest of the inside. The top part can now be glued together. Ah uh, shit, definitely got a bit carried away with the glue there.
As you can see, the fan sticks out of the bottom half, so the adjustments I'm going to make to the top half are to make room for the fan and to make a nice tunnel for the air to blow through. It's definitely looking more and more like a tunnel. It's going to be an air tunnel. a PVC pipe to for the air to go through. Obviously I'm gonna glue that perfectly into place. Thankfully the motor is still working. Finally the top half can be glued to the bottom half.
I thought it would be pretty cool if you can see the PCB in the end result. So instead of plywood, I'm going to use a hard piece of see-through plastic to hold the PCB in place so you can still see it at the end. Now it's time to try and make it look a bit better. Well, it's working. I'm going to now finally remove those reference points. Now you can also see when it needs charging. Well, as you can see, it does really work incredibly well. So, mission accomplished. That's that for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you like the fact that this vacuum window cleaning device did also not go to waste. Hopefully see you in the next video and I think I might go and help start the barbecue.